Catherine Lee? I don't rightly know that. I don't think much of this film. No, it's going to happen, you know. Hmm? Any minute now, they'll be clothes torn off, red hot passion, bodies writhing around the floor, you know, squeals of delight. In the Lone Ranger? Oh, no, no, no. You know, we'll turn the telly off first. No, we will not. I quite fancy the one who plays a strong, silent sheriff. Bent as a corkscrew. How do you know? Well, I don't really, but someone has to start these vicious rumours. Actually, you know, I've got my suspicions about that horse of his, too. Right. Mm. Oh, we're going to have a running commentary. I might as well turn it off. Good thinking, Brain. We watch too much television anyway. We can create our own boredom. <laughs> Are you sure that telephone's working? A watch telephone never boils. Are you expecting somebody to ring? Nobody. Oh, that's most probably them now. No. <laughs> oh, it's a sad remark. I can't start this weekend. Oh. Well, you know, I, I feel the same. You know, he hasn't asked me out either. <laughs> Look, perhaps he's working. He's a um, sort of an actor. Is he really? What's he do? Lots. You know that Ibsen play, Hedda Gardner, on the box last week? Yeah. Well, he was the one that sprayed the deodorant and went, psst, ooh! <laughs> In Hedda Gardner? Well, in the commercial, in between. That's what he does. Oh. Yeah, he's an actor. Sort of armpit theatre. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. No violence, otherwise I'll cut you out of my sexual fantasies. <laughs> it's going to be a boring weekend here with you two. Hey, why don't we have a party? Yeah, that's a good idea. A party, eh? We haven't had one for ages. We can get the booze on the slate. Yeah, we got the records. Yeah, roll back the cup and have a bit of dancing. Yeah, Mr. Roper banging on the ceiling by half ten. What? Well, you know what he was like last time. He was threatening to call the police by 11. Oh, come on, he's not that bad. No one's got a good word for him. I have. I've got a very good word for him. <laughs> well, I think it's very nice of my sister and her husband to invite us, George. But, of course, if you don't want to go, you've only got to say so. I don't want to go. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> they only invite us when they've got something to swank about. Last year, it was his garage door, radio controlled. Had to stand out in the pouring rain watching the rotten thing going up and down. I don't know why they invite us again, you know, George. After what you did in their fish tank. <laughs> well, well, there's all that cheap Spanish wine of theirs. Well, I mean, you didn't have to tip it in. Those, those poor little guppies were drunk for days. I'll be honest with you, Mildred, I don't like either of them. <laughs> well, I mean, you're just jealous. Me jealous? Yeah. Listen, he may have his split-level bungalow in Purley, his Jaguar XJ6 and his holidays abroad, but is he happy? He's delirious, George. <laughs> yeah. Well, who wouldn't be with all that lot? <laughs> anyway, what happens if the pipes burst while we're away? Then there's Oscar. Well, he's not going to burst, is he? Anyway, I'll leave a key with a flat upstairs. Well, why can't they drive over here and visit us? Because he's lost his driving licence for a year. Well, that's no reason for... Has he? <laughs> what for? Drinking and driving. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, George. No, 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 not there. <laughs> His garage door won't be going up and down. <laughs> oh, I shall enjoy discussing the matter with him. Might not be such a boring weekend after all. <laughs> boring, boring, boring. I tell you what, how would it be if we invited the Ropers to the party? Then they couldn't complain, could they? She's all right, but he's the kiss of death. Oh. I mean, when he w walks into a room, you feel as if someone's just left. <laughs> <laughs> tell me something. If I rang you up and asked you out, what would you think of me? I think you were daft just sitting next to me. Not you, Mark. If I phoned him up, would he lose respect for me? Never. If there's one thing a man respects, it's a pushover. I <laughs> smell burning. That must be the food. <laughs> Don't tell us. Let's try and guess. Bacon. No, it's the oven glove. I left it underneath the grill. Master <laughs> Joe, you're hopeless. Listen, you're not supposed to grill oven gloves. You're supposed to fry them. Oh, you're so witty. I'll tell you what, let's go down to the pub and have a sandwich, all right? Oh, you always say that when it's my turn to cook. Evening. Oh, hope I'm not intruding. No, no, no. We're just having a small but simple cremation service for a well-loved oven glove. Gone but not forgotten. <laughs> uh, love, I wonder if you could you do me a little favour? Would you mind keeping an eye on the flat while we are away? What, you're going away? Oh, yes. Oh, just for the weekend. My sister's. She's got a new deep freeze. You can get a whole pig in it. Oh. Mr. Rover's going with you now. <laughs> that 
That's great. Well, if you're going to go away for the weekend, that means we, we can, can look after the flat for you. Great. Oh. <laughs> well, it's George, really, you know. I mean, he's terrified in case the budgie bursts. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, when actually were you thinking of going? Oh, just as soon as we get the car started in the morning. Probably about midday. <laughs> Listen, I'll see you, huh? Oh, thank you, love. Listen, that, <laughs> sorry, that couldn't work out any better, could it, really? I mean, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> We're not immigrating, you know. I mean, we'll be back on Monday. Hey, you leave it to us. We'll keep an eye out for any suspicious parties. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> oh, that's great. Who are we going to invite? The most seductive, sensual, sexy bird you could wish to meet. Well, I'm coming anyway. <laughs> no, 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 Liz Martin, honestly. I really fancy my chances with this one. She's built, she's built like, oh, Hello, gorgeous. It's me. I've just been overcome by lust, and I have this crude proposition. To <laughs> hello, 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 Mrs. Martin. Um, sorry. Uh, could, I, could, I, could I speak to Elizabeth, please? Well, that's 14 girls and 14 fellas so far. How great. Um... Oh, Morris, hmm? we're having a party at our place tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Can you and him come? Oh, super, yeah. Oh, I shall have to wash your hair. <laughs> we do love a do. Okay, that's Morris and Anton. I don't know which column to put them in. <laughs> and six bottles of red wine, six bottles of white, and ten eight-pint cans of bitter. And one packet of crisps. Yes, well, you know, I hate drinking on an empty stomach. <laughs> it's a lot on the slate, you know. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay for the crisps. <laughs> now, look, we must have more fellas than girls, because I want them fighting over me. <laughs> oh, don't look now, but who's that that's just walked in? How can I tell you if I don't look? <coughs> it's Mark. Don't look. <laughs> hello, Chrissy. Oh, hello. Um... Um, Mark, you've been talking about him all afternoon. Thank you. <coughs> been meaning to ring you all day. The phone was busy. No, it wasn't. My phone. Oh. My phone was busy. My agent been on at me all day to do this voiceover for a commercial for a freeze-dried pea. There we are. <laughs> I ask you, what does a pea sound like? <laughs> Pardon? Oh, uh, Mark's Robin. Robin, this is Mark. Hi. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Psst. Ooh. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, uh, party tomorrow night, our place. Can you make it? Oh, I, I, I'll just check. <laughs> Saturday, is that? Yeah. Well, give him a drink. Oh, yeah. So what do you want? Uh, Campari, please. Uh, slim nine tonic, just a shush of soda, no ice, and rub the rim of the glass with a little lemon rind. <laughs> it's Jim. It's Jim. Yeah. Could I have a Campari? With a slim line tonic, a shush of soda, no ice, and if you could rub the glass round with a little bit of lemon rind. You what? You're right. Make a half a bit. Hello, evening, son. Hello. <laughs> hey, uh, we'll keep an eye on the buddy for me, won't you, while he's away, you yeah. see? Because he's an affectionate little fella. Flies over and sits on my head. He flies over and slides off your head, you mean? <laughs> evening, Mr. Tripp. Hello again. Hello. Listen, don't you worry, because, you know, I'll be in all weekend. You're not doing anything, then? No, not really. You know, I'll most probably do a bit of studying, you know, do a bit of reading. <laughs> huh? Six of red, six of white, and your ten gallons of beer in there. I might have a little drink. <laughs> girls, girls, can you come here, please? <laughs> now, listen to me. I'm cooking... I am cooking pilot tonight, right? <laughs> Onions, tomatoes, peppers, prawns, chickens, mussels, a clove of garlic, a pinch of saffron, long grain rice. Ben's finest dish, a colouring masterpiece. So? And you expect me to serve them up on plates with Donald Duck on them? <laughs> Some of them have got Popeye on. Oh, that's all right! <laughs> uh, cheerio, little fella. I don't want to leave you like this, but these things happen. I'll see you soon. Try not to fret too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> the cowboy's farewell to his badgie. Come on, George. Hey, did you lock the cold shed door? Well, I was going to, but it seemed a bit pointless, since it's hanging off his hinges. Right. <laughs> now, listen, girls. About tonight. Now, listen. Are we, uh, are we gonna, are we gonna let people sort of go into the bedrooms? What for? 
Well, you know what these parties can develop into, you know, with a bit of luck. <laughs> That's all you ever think about. Yes. Oh, no. Come on, be fair. Thinks about football and cooking as well. Oh, yes. If he could get his girlfriend on a gas stove in the middle of Wembley Stadium, he'd be away. Paradise. <laughs> Huh? Yes, they're on the way. Oh, good, good, good. Now, girls, you realise that the two of you are completely alone with me? Yes, so we can do anything we like and no-one will hear your screams of anguish. Oh, and what were you thinking of my tempestuous beauty? I was thinking of eating your cheese dip. Do what? Oh, no, girls, come on. <laughs> Hey, listen, I think this party's gonna be a success. Someone's been sick in the bathroom already. <laughs> You're a bit late for that, aren't you? Well, you can't make a punch with wine and beer, can you? I've been waiting for the chin. Yeah, th th that's vodka. Well, it's the same colour. <laughs> listen, what you need is a little fruit. Oh, oh you spoke. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Boris. Hello. It's a nice number you got on. Thank you. I, I think your, yours is very nice too. Oh, ta. This, you haven't seen Liz, have you? Oh, well, I don't know. What does she look like? Well, she's sort of. Um... Do you like my dress? Yeah. Do you think it gives me a sexy look, a bit like Susan George? Yeah. You say the nicest things. Hmm? You know, I auditioned for a crowd scene in Straw Dogs. Peckinpah and I just didn't hit it off. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hello. Oh. Listen, you, you haven't seen Liz, have you? No. Oh. oh, you can get me a drink while you're up. Okay. No, 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 no. Allow me. Martini, isn't it? What do you see in him? He happens to have a very loving disposition. Now, nobody wasted on himself. <laughs> He's got one thing you haven't got. What? Me. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who are you? Liz. <laughs> Poetry. Let me take your coat. Thank you. Oh, Liz. Liz, great you made it. Hello, Robin. You know, I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Yes, you have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're an actor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink? Martini. <laughs> Coat. You did say martini, didn't you? <laughs> What's that tarty-looking bird chatting up Mark? That is Liz. Yes, I know, and look at them. Lust at first sight. Well, it's very understandable. Come on, she's a very attractive lady. I mean, every man in the party fancies her. <laughs> Well, almost. Oh, I'm hardly surprised. I've seen higher necklines on a topless waitress. Oh, look, I'll tell you what. I'll glide over there and I'll smoothly separate them, all right? Good. Have you ever met Michael Caine? You don't... As a matter of fact, I was standing behind him in the canteen at Pinewood only the other day. What's he like? Hamburger and chips. <laughs> listen, I'm sorry, there's, there's no martini left. Oh, you've got one? Oh, right. Uh, listen, do you want to come and have a dance? Uh, not just yet. Uh, tell me something else. Do you ever have trouble remembering your lines? No. <laughs> he doesn't get to say any lines, you know, just the occasional... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know, someone once summed it up that the most important thing in acting is sincerity. Yes, once you've learned to fake that, you know, you're all right. <laughs> Would you like to dance? I'd love to. <laughs> Don't worry. He's got big ears anyway. No, oh, shut up! <laughs> I'll glide over and smoothly separate them. What happened to your famous sex appeal? It's alive and well and standing next to you. Would you like to dance? What, me? Dance with you? It's perfectly legal between consenting adults, you know. You're only on the rebound. That's true. Well, it's either you or Morris. I'll save you from yourself. Come Thank on. You. <laughs> See, the thing is, Chrissy, I'm a fella. Ah, that explains the shaving foam in the bathroom. And, uh, you know, you're a girl. No. You're not a girl. I'm answering your next question. No, 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 please. <laughs> don't be hasty. Just why don't we go into my bedroom? No, 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 just, you know, just to sort of discuss it. It's more crowded in there than it is in here. It's getting very late. I'm dancing as fast as I can. Listen, would you like a drink? Well, I'm not sure I could trust myself if I had another drink. Gin and tonic, please. <laughs> Have a large one. <laughs> oh, we're right out of ice. Mm -hmm. Is there any in there? No. Oh. Well, go down to the ropers and get some. You go down to the ropers and get some. Here's the keys. Mm, all right. Well, I, I tell you what, I'll, 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 I'll carry the ice bucket for you. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. He invites me to a party and then goes off with someone else. Oh. <laughs> To. Oh, um, I'm just bedding down the budgie. Well, that's all you're bedding down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it's, it's so much more peaceful down here, you know, after all that noise upstairs. Well. Just, you know, just a quiet drink. Well, just one or the ice will start to melt. <laughs> right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You know, Chrissy, sometimes, sometimes, you know, a man wants more. <laughs> he, wants, he wants something fine and warm, you know. And one day he wakes up and realizes it's under his nose. You're thinking of growing a mustache? I'm being very serious, Chrissy. I mean, you know, we. We all want the relationship, a warm relationship. Look, why don't you come right out with it and say what you're after? I just don't know the words. Yes, you do. I've heard you using them. <laughs> anyway, look, remember what we agreed when you moved in? £7.50 a week. Not that, the other. Well, what about it? But there wasn't going to be any. <laughs> look, I'm flesh and blood as well. Well, I've only got your word for it, Chrissy. Well, all I can say is if you were a gentleman, you wouldn't take advantage of the way I'm feeling now. Ashamed of the whole of my life, George. I'm not surprised they asked us to leave. Well, he's a drunken driver, isn't he? Well, there was no need for you to go on about it all evening. They'll never ask us again. Oh, well, what a complete waste of time, then. <laughs> yeah, well, serves him right. He won't be able to drive anything now for 12 months. Not even his bloody great deep freeze. <laughs> but the finer things of life. Just get right up your nose. Listen, I may not have an oil-fired bird bath, but I've got a driving licence and that... What's going on up there? Never mind about them. I, I did not know where to put my face when you rinsed your teeth in their B-Day. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even there. 
Oh, oh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, we, uh, <coughs> do just doing a spot of tidying up. Yes, do come in. We're nearly finished. Yes. Well, it's very thoughtful of you, love, but you didn't have to... No, I know, but, you know, originally we came down here to, uh, to, to offer you a drink, you see. Yeah, but we weren't here. No. So we decided to tidy up instead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here, what's that racket going on upstairs? Uh, that's a party. Oh. Would you like to come? Uh, it's nearly half past ten. <laughs> well, there's lots of food and drink and dancing. Oh, George, let's go. I mean, they, they never had parties like that when we were alive. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn to do this, Morris? Well, it's funny, really. You know, I first started when I was in the Royal Marine Commandos. <laughs> Dead lost, though. I mean, they never had any pride in their appearance, did they? Prince <laughs> Vidal's a refresher, didn't you? Yes, he taught me a lot. Oh, you'll make someone a lovely brother. Oh, you're only saying it because it's true. <laughs> Uh, Joe, you haven't seen the scotch, have you? Oh, we had one bottle. I think Mr. Roper had it, though. Ah. <laughs> you see, during the war, all we had was Vera Lynn. No, excuse me, uh, could you move your car? Paul can't get his jeep out. Oh, yeah, right. Here, don't go away. I'll tell you about the time I was chased by a buzz bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. Hey, good to see. Oh, hello, Robin. Hello, Liz. Listen, I was wondering, you know, if you wanted to go into my bedroom, you know, just, you know, just to finish off with a bottle of wine. I don't think so, do you? Do you know, I think I'm going to donate my body to medicine. I'm not using it. Absolutely right. Listen, I wonder who's taking Morris home. <laughs> Would you believe it must be oh six years since I last had a dance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, you know my husband. He does a lovely waltz. Of course, he does it to everything. You know. George. Yeah, I've got to go with this gentleman, Mildred. Give him a sample. Oh, <laughs> 